lunch break. Dropping off pee. He got hit. He got a black guy. You are now tuned in with Trophy. Go Trophy. We can let crack toes be open. Go Trophy. Only with Trophy. Hey Tro Squad. Welcome back to another video. Happy Tuesday y'all today. It's Tuesday and we are headed to my mom's house. I'm about to go to the rodeo, to the um, the rodeo concert. I'm going to the rodeo. So today is like the Bun B concert and he has like a lot of people that he's bringing out. My sister had tickets so it's going to be me, Katie, Irma, and Diamond. It's like a sister outing. So that's what we're about to do. I'm just about to drop the boys off at my mama's house and they're gonna spend the night and then i'm gonna pick them up tomorrow after i get off of work because i still gotta go to work tomorrow <sighs> so i just want to come and say hey to y'all and check in now traffic begins it's 5 13. um i said i was gonna be at mom's house by six but i do want to stop and get the boys some food but i should be able to make it because According to my GPS, it says I was going to get to my mom's house at like 5.45, but I still wanted to be a little earlier, but whatever. We made it to the NRG, guys. We got the VIP parking pass, although we spent like an hour in traffic, but we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, we are on my vlog. Oh, yeah. How long we was in traffic? On Diamond Vlog. Make sure y'all check in on Diamond Vlog. How long were we in traffic? One hour uh -huh. total. I don't know. Was it an hour? I'm exaggerating. Oh, it's so packed, y'all. Look at the long line of people waiting to get on the escalator over there. But we're gonna walk up the ramp. Y'all, I'm the only one out of my sisters who doesn't have on cowboy boots. <laughs> they look so cute, though.
parking lot, this is where we're going. This is where our car is parked. So it's currently 11.14. I wonder what time we're getting home. One o'clock. Maybe. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Me and the boys are at Cheddar's having our Sunday meal. We just went to church, y'all, for the first time. Well, their first time ever going to church. What? Don't be sticking your... Why didn't you no top? Oh, they did give you a top. Don't take the top off, Chevelle. That's how we have huge accidents. And that's a big bottle. I mean, a big cup. So we went to church. It was nice. Well, the children's church was amazing because Terrell came out talking about, I'm going to be a new person. What did he say? I'm gonna turn into a new person. And he was talking about do the right thing. So it was a great children's church, but as far as the, oh, I don't know what, I'm trying to fix this game for Terrell. And don't mind my hair, y'all, it feels weird. I was trying to wake up early and do a wig video, but I didn't want to be late for church. So I like halfway did it. I didn't finish like styling the hair at all. So it may look a little crazy, but the adult church, it just was lackluster. It was like a majority white congregation. It was like mixed, it had a couple people in there, but the majority was white, so. I'm gonna keep on looking around. Where we, where we moved, it's like a lot of um, churches nearby. So I was like, I need to find me a church home. That's probably what I've been missing. I've been feeling unfulfilled. I need to take my bus to church, take my kids to church. So that's the goal. We're gonna find a nice church home. Um, the boys love the little kids church because it was nice how they was teaching them they brought they brought back a lot of little stuff that they learned like little activities they, they did all within an hour because church started promptly at 11 and ended promptly at 12. i ain't never been through that before but next week i'm gonna try to find more of a i don't it don't have to be like a strictly black church but just a little more flavor <laughs> have a little more flavor to it so yeah but i feel good that we went and i've been put like ever since i moved to this apartment i'm saying i'm gonna go to the church because there's so many churches around so i was like i need to make one of these my church home mm. yeah break it in half there's only one yeah good job mommy why, why is this like want me to help you why is this so That's the bottom. Did y'all know that Cheddar's gives you complimentary croissants? Now? I did not know that. They said the first round is complimentary, but after that, it's $2 per something. I'm like, what? It's never been complimentary. So, that's nice. And look at the boys' haircuts. My brother Steve did them yesterday. He did their haircuts like two weeks ago. Two, well, it was like three weeks ago. So he's gonna be doing their haircuts from now. And he did an amazing job this time. The first time he said he had to practice to get their swerve or swirl right or whatever it's called. But this time he did really good and they look so sharp. So we got a new barber in the family. Okay, y'all, so this is the completed look. It did look better than it did at the restaurant. I don't know, but we've been home for an hour or so, and I had to finish filming the video and curling it. This hair is so long, like, I don't see how the curls could last. Cause like, look how long it is. <laughs> so much extra, and then it's heavy too. So I cut a lot of layers. Well, I didn't cut a lot of layers in it, but I cut layers. I hear fighting. But, uh... You burn it! Try, don't do that. <sighs> anyway, so I'm done with this video. And the videos I filmed from last week, like the Bob videos, I still haven't edited it yet. Well, I'm almost done with one video because it's going to be in the vlog. So I got to finish editing it so I can send it off tonight. Because I want the vlog, I want to stay on top of my vlog. So I got to get that approved first. So hopefully that vlog will go live tomorrow. And then I'm also finished the other Bob video today too. Because it's 3 o'clock. Today I wanted to go walk on the track. But it looks like it's going to rain. So we're going to stay in the house. But I'm going to start getting the boys project ready. They have a project that they have to do. It has their name. I, I think it's due tomorrow. I don't. Maybe it's not due tomorrow. But we're just going to try to knock it out today. They have their name in the middle and they have to put pictures of like their family and stuff they love, stuff they like. So I'm going to print out a lot of pictures for them. 
I want to make dinner too. I want to make dinner so I can have some stuff like for meal prep so I don't have to eat out this week. Oh, and at the church, y'all, they gave us a $10 Chick-fil-A gift card like for new members or not new members, but people who's first time visiting. That was very nice. So overall, I love the vibe of the church. Like I feel very welcome to like the teacher ladies and because it was a lot of them. It was very nice because I guess it's like a preschool throughout the week too because it was like pretty big for a church and it was good but like the actual sermon I didn't feel nothing <laughs> I was like <laughs> so it just wasn't I don't know what I'm used to I used to go to church a lot I used to go to uh, Lakewood for a little while I used to go to Windsor Village Church but then the pastor had a scandal <laughs> I used to go it was another church I used to visit a little bit but I want to get back into it and just like start to have like get in touch with my spiritual, start journaling again, just start being overall feeling better and just fill the void. Cause I feel like a void and I know I'm lacking. I probably just need to get closer to God, okay? So yesterday I was at my mom's house and I applied for 10 jobs at the old school district that, why am I saying it like that? Like y'all gonna look me up if I do get a job. Shoot, y'all might. I mean, it's pretty obvious what school district it was. But anyway, in my old school district that I used to work at, I applied for 10 jobs. But they weren't teacher jobs. They were like um, a, a couple of, a lot of the jobs, like a half of the jobs were inside of the um, office, like the central office, like during office work, uh, administrative assistant, executive assistant. <laughs> Come here, let me show the camera your eye first. Come here. Y'all look into her eye. Look at his face though. He's so cute. Oh, so cute. But look at his eye. Close your eye. He got hit. He got a black eye. It's not black white. He got hit. He had a black eye from, uh, I guess he was going to the restroom. That it, I had to sign a little incident report. And a kid hit him with the door. So I guess he's standing outside the door in the restroom. And the boy opened the door and he hit him or something. I don't know. But... That's what happened in daycare. Kids get black eyes. That was actually the first incident that ever happened at that daycare. At the other daycare, things were happening all the time. But as I was saying, oh yeah, I apply for a lot of office work jobs because I do enjoy being in the office, but I want to get paid more. Like I feel like I'm getting underpaid where I'm at or not really even getting underpaid. I just feel like I'm always going to try to make more money, always. So I apply for like executive assistants. <laughs> Some of the stuff I was definitely not qualified for. I applied for some HR roles. I, I did apply for a couple teacher roles. I applied to be like an art teacher though. Oh, and I, I applied to be a registrar too. That's the one I'm really wanting. It's a registrar at a high school. And that's like, you know, the registrar is the person that's in charge of attendance and stuff. Y'all, they get paid a lot of money. The The job I looked at description was 74000 to 100000 I'm like, to be a registrar, that's more, you get paid more than a teacher. And a lot of them jobs, like the other office stuff I was getting, looking at, more than a teacher. And you, it, you didn't really need that much, like, you don't need anything extra. You, you just need a bachelor's degree. And some of them required, like the registrar job, it required you to have a teacher certificate. But it was only one of those available. But if another one comes available, I'm going to keep on applying. And just keep applying up for other stuff because I want a better schedule when it comes to the kids. Because I feel like now I'm getting burnt out because as soon as I get home, like I have no in the middle time. Like I want to have time to work out that I've been missing working out. Or just having like a little leeway. It's like get home, cook, sleep. Like no in the middle time. If I got off around 3 or 4, if I got off around 4 o'clock, That'd be nice. If I had summers off, that'd be real nice. I'm still just trying to figure out my way. Um, and then I saw like other jobs like in the medical field. It was this other job like I was really looking up for like a whole day. So you know I'm interested. <laughs> Y'all be all over the place. But it was another job. It's like to be a um, radi radiology therapist. Radiology t therapist or something like that I think it is. Like that's the person who does the um, radiology for cancer patients. It's like this machine that they work on. They get paid like seventy-five to a hundred thousand dollars. No, like eighty to a hundred thousand dollars. And it seemed like a pretty chill job. 
pretty chill and um all the people because i was watching a lot of tiktoks about it and they were saying how rewarding it is and stuff and then i was because y'all know a while ago i would say i wanted to be a sonographer but i never did it so i was looking at that again and just other stuff in the medical field but the only thing about the medical field is ugh, i suck at math and i suck at science but i've been telling myself a trophy you can do anything you put your mind to although you don't know what one plus one is if you study it you'll eventually figure it out but yeah y'all that was very random topic but i'm about to take this wig off because i'm about to be working around the house trying to get the pictures for the boys project so this has got to go and this is a heavy one y'all this bad boy is heavy like it got a lot of density on this wig so i'm, I'm gonna be selling it of course oh because i'm honestly just tired of wearing wigs I can't wait till I get this little round of wig videos out, but it's never, uh, the round of wig videos never ends because I'm always taking on new wig videos, but I just want to do my little two twists and just be free. But I got like two more videos I need to film and then I can wash my hair and do my little two twists. This is the boys project. So I printed all these pictures Mommy, out. I use Canva now, to put them together because I refuse to buy Microsoft Word. Oh, <laughs> I mean, even though Canva probably costs more could over time, now? but could Canva could has so now? many different. No. Yes, cut, cut, cut away. So this is all Terrell's pictures. Of course, I had to add one of his favorite person. <laughs> well, it was a couple of his favorite person on there. And these are Travel pictures. I asked them the stuff that they liked. Like, oh, like Travella, strawberries, like PJ Masks. He kept asking, telling me, yeah, cut it. You know how to cut stuff? He kept saying, get blue stuff. So that's why he got a blue TV, a blue house, a blue phone, donuts, dinosaurs, Sonic, Spider-Man. So it just supposed to be like things that they like and stuff. So... They're just cutting away right now. So y'all gotta cut all your pictures out first. That gives me time to clean up this kitchen a little bit, wash some dishes and I don't know, do something around the house. So this is the project that, oh, these pictures are large. So these are their little project pages and they're just supposed to put their interests, family and stuff all around their name. And then I guess they're gonna hang it all around the uh, daycare. It's a daycare project. So yep, I, of course y'all, the wig is off. So I'm about to just uh, clean up the kitchen a little bit. Just like minor stuff around the kitchen and um, Mommy. I don't know, other stuff. Good job. So that's one thing. Now you got to cut them all out. So Terrell cut his first picture out and you got to keep on going. Look like they have to put their favorite things <laughs> around them so that's Terrell's and Travell's so Terrell because it was me I was like yeah I'm your favorite <laughs> Terrell didn't want to cut his pictures out so he got full pictures so I'm not sure how many gonna be able to stick on there Travell wanted to cut his pictures out so his is probably all gonna fit on there maybe and I helped him cut them out so they could be like 3D and stuff. So, yep. Terry, you want me to help you cut some out? Are you sure? Uh, uh. Okay, he said he don't want to. But you gotta, you gotta scoot it over. You gotta make sure everything is on the poster, okay? And this piece, we don't need. So they're about to work on their stuff. And I, when they do projects, well, the last thing they did, was, which was the uh, float. I didn't even show y'all that, but uh, it was a float. I might have a picture of it, like for the rodeo. That's what Terrell had to do. I kind of did most of that one. But, like, for most stuff, Terrell, this is upside down. 
You can't do everything upside down. Look, your name is right here. So this is the top. You gotta put everything in the right spot, upwards. Up, up and down? No, you don't have to do it up and down because this, this is the way it look like that. So everything needs to be up, not upside down. I was telling her all my symptoms and she was very like she was writing it down she's just so dramatic she's like I was like yeah and I've been having like the itchiness and then and I was like in my heart been having pain she's like your heart you're too young for that and she's just like a character y'all so I feel good I got all my blood drawn that's really all I wanted to do is get my blood drawn so I could see and so that she can I don't know let me know so anyway that's that I took off work early today I did a half day and now it is 3.30. I will usually have two more hours of work, but I think I'm about to go run a couple errands, do a couple things. We're gonna go to Walmart because I wanna look at a TV to see which one I'm gonna get. If I can put it in the back of my trunk, I will. Cause y'all know my stuff folds down. So I could do that. I wanna get a 75 inch, but it's the thing about taking it from the car to the door of the house. But I got a little wagon I can drag it in, drag it, that I can push it in. So I might be able to do that. So I'm gonna get my TV, maybe, or know exactly which one I'm gonna get so I can order it. Cause I wanna get both the, the TVs mounted this weekend. So I need to make an appointment to get the TVs mounted as well. I don't really care about TVs. Like the one that I have is decent. It's a smart TV. It's not really like a known brand, but I had looked up one, another one on Walmart. I think it was a Vizio. What, was it a Vizio? It was like 600 something for a 75 inch. That was good. But like when you get into the brands and stuff, oh, it was an LG. It was it was 598 for a 75 inch. I just need something that work is good enough because I'm not. I don't really care that much about picture quality. I do care about picture quality. I mean, it can't be like trash but it don't gotta be perfect and tvs i feel these days are like cheap or something so we'll go to walmart check it out and then see if we can get pick up the boys some stuff i need to get them some essentials underwear underwear socks socks i might get the boys a pair of shoes but i'm not sure because they're like transitioning shoe size i want to get them some sandals too like for the summertime but i'm not gonna go crazy getting them stuff right now i'm just gonna get them stuff like as I go but I definitely know they need some new pants but we're transitioning into spring so I can get them a lot of shorts and stuff too their little pants I've been getting from a children's place they be looking um where they starting to look bad because like their knee parts be fading and I don't know I just think that make them look dirty like little dirty kids I can't have my kids looking like little dirty kids but I want to go to Walmart too because I know that right now is a, the good time to go to Walmart to get like the summer and spring stuff. It's like a spoon over there. That's what you hear. That's a spoon. But anyway, right now is the good time to get like the granimals when they put it out, you know, fresh before people start actually shopping in the summer. I don't know. It might be too late because last time I went, I saw a lot of cute stuff, but that was like two or three weeks ago. So first stop, Walmart. Am I making dinner tonight? Good question. I made dinner last night. I made them some burgers the night before that. We had uh, shrimp fried rice, I think, or something. I've been cooking. I've been cooking. 
vibing. This week has been a terrible week week for me. Every day I've been wearing terrible wigs to work every day. It's because whenever you wear wigs, you have to really style wigs. And I'll be waking up like 15 minutes before I have to get the boys ready. Before I have to wake them up, I'll be getting myself ready in 15 minutes. Lately, I've been tripping this week, but I need to get on it so our mornings can be better and I can prepare myself and have better weekdays. And then, yeah, because lately I've been looking a little rough. And I have I have actually been feeling better though, y'all, as far as my symptoms go. They have been, like, decreasing because I started taking vitamin D. I don't know if I, I don't think I told y'all about that, but whenever I was, like, feeling very nervous about it i was researching a lot like all my symptoms and stuff and then something came up about vitamin d and then i saw multiple videos about vitamin d and how it could it could make your muscles weak it could make like you have like kind of like an arthritis feeling which i was feeling in my hands and my feet um sore like muscles lower back pains um a feeling of being tired like if you're vitamin d deficiency it's a lot and even they even said stuff about the heart and did i tell y'all about that too i was having i'm having um like heart pains too like burning in my heart my heart is burning and i'm having like little striking pains not that often but like the week before i made my doctor's appointment like that week it was like it was very scary but then it starts slowing down but i still feel it like throughout the day and i was like i know it ain't heartburn it's something more because it's just always in this one spot like it's in my heart it's in my heart so yeah hopefully we you know know what it is you know figure out what it is this is the one I think I'm going to get. I'm talking loud over this music, but they have it here, but I don't think I'll be able to get this in my house. Look, it's the 75 inch. It's no way I can get this in my house. So maybe I'll just uh, do order it so they can deliver it to my front door. Because I'm just the girl. I'm just the girl, but I like how the picture looks. I think it's a good one. It's a rollback. It's $5.98 for the 75 inch 4K smart TV. Okay, so it's this one. This is the same one that I screenshotted earlier. And I think it's $5.68 online. So it says that it can, I can get it. It says I can get it delivered tomorrow, but I think I'm going to wait till Friday so I can get it delivered on Saturday because you can't schedule the delivery. So, yeah. Okay, so I guess this is a Granimals haul. I'm going to stop dressing the boys alike. I got them stuff that matches, but I'm not going to make them wear it the same day because they're starting not to like it. I mean, I'm not going to do it every single time. So, just picked up a few things. Shorts. And everything is like $3.98 or $2.98. You can't beat that. And I got this little outfit. They had another Spider-Man one, but I didn't want to get it for Terrell too because they don't really like to match. Well, I don't know. Should I have gotten it for him? Because then he's going to be like, I don't got one. Okay, I'll go back and get him one. And then I just got some more underwear for Terrell. And then I got them both these things. These like little sticker sheets from Melissa and Doug. They find the pictures and they stick the pictures. I think they'll really enjoy that. But I have to limit it. So I think I'm only going to let them do like one a day. Because if I give it to them all at this same time, that's a no. Okay, guys. So this is my Target haul. Got some pens to go with my journal. Starting a new journal. We're going to stick to it this time. <laughs> Look at me stealing stuff again. I got this little uh, notebook for my to-do list. I've been making to-do lists every day on my phone and like just adding to it. So I was like, why not write it down? So I think this is pretty cute. And then I got some micellar water. I hope I pronounced it micellar water. Some face cream. I'm gonna try to Febreze small spaces in the bathrooms, uh, the downstairs bathroom, the boys bathroom. And then I just got my face wash, the Cetaphil. And then I'm gonna try the Glade um, cat stuff. And that's it, time to go pick up the boys. Okay, y'all, these are my vitamins that I'm currently taking. 
Um, if you guys know a better multivitamin, let me know. But these are actually ranked pretty high because I did like a lot of, um, you know how they have the blogs that like rank stuff. That's, that's my version of doing research. And they said a lot of good things about this one. And it's affordable, but it's still good. So I got the Nature Made multivitamin for her. And then this one has uh, 120 tablets. Really good value. And then this one is a little more pricey. I got this one off of Amazon because I wanted something that, well, this had a lot of good reviews on Amazon too. This is the vitamin D3 with K2. So they say when you add the K2, it helps it absorb it. And I definitely need that. So those are my vitamins that I've been taking every day for the past three weeks. Before then, I was taking nothing. So that's probably why my whole life was, my whole body was like, girl, what? You're missing all of these, all of these. So many things. <laughs> I wish I would have got my blood drawn before I started taking my vitamins, but of course I, it took me forever to, well, you know, we make a doctor's appointment, they be booked out. So, and I had to give it enough time to take off work. So yeah, and then these are what the boys take, the Ollie's, and then they take these two. These are the Paw Patrol ones that they send to us, so. Yeah. Hey guys, next day, another bad hair day. We're at LabCorp on my lunch break. Dropping off pee. Let me, uh. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait till the weekend so I can wash my hair and just get my life together. <laughs> and then my shirt has a stain on it. Like, where did it come from? I could, I could kind of use the excuse that it's raining because people can't tell if it's wet or not. But, oh, I don't know. I'm passing up this place called Rice Box because I'm kind of in the Heights. It look good. And I look at the reviews. It look good. Like a little nice little Chinese. I've been looking for a Chinese restaurant. I've been wanting to like order Chinese food in, but all the Chinese places suck. This place looks good. It looked like a little bougier, but it looks good. And it, it I don't know. I want to like eat in there though because it looks cool. Like it looks like uh arcade or something i can't explain it but maybe one day i'll do like a pickup and have chinese for dinner for me and the boys or something on my way home from work but anyway i'm headed back to work 104 i clocked out at 12 33 so i gotta be back at work by 1 33. um i had to just drop off my pee so I peed at the job and then I'm dropping it off on my lunch break because I went to the doctor yesterday and she's like, just drop it off at any lab court. But like they're all open from 8 to 430 and I work from 830 to 530. So this will be the only time and I made it happen. I was proud of myself because I was like, how am I going to do this? But lately I've been a very solution based person. Like I just be doing stuff and. It may seem minor to y'all, but I feel like I was more of a negative person and like more of a, I don't know, I was going through a phase, but your girl has seen the light and I'm just being an all around better person and I love that for me. So, um, oh yeah, so earlier I was, cause I just had to get the office y'all, <sighs> my job, I can't wait to tell y'all about it, but I be wanting to get out the office. Any chance I get, I be trying to get out the office. So earlier she was like, um, we need to go see the comps. We need to like, we have some competitors, like other senior properties nearby. They call them the comps. And we need to uh, like check the prices cause we're supposed to be going up on our prices next month, but she doesn't want to go up on the prices next month. So she wants to like take all the prices of the other people. Ooh, Dunkin' Donuts. Um, cause I want something sweet. I think I'm gonna ship these those. So ship these over there. But I'm in the Heights. They don't, they don't. They don't got no like really nice, trendy dessert place. Like I guess not on my way, and I'm not trying to like search. But um. So anyway, I went to uh two of them today, and one of them it it looked nice. Like I like the vi like the vibe of the people in there. They were cool chill but they said that they're gonna start remodeling and i was like is it just you in the office she was the property man she's like no the assistant manager's coming back and she's like but we're looking for a leasing agent do you know anybody i was like i know somebody 
And she's like, you know somebody? I was like, I know somebody. She's like, okay, go ahead and send over your resume. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna send over my resume later on. But I'm actively looking for a new job in case you guys didn't know. I'm ready to get up out of there. I, I'm not the type to stay somewhere where I don't wanna be when I don't wanna be there. I chunked the deuce, but I told myself I'm not gonna quit my job. <gasps> they have a drive-thru? What? Wait, is the drive-thru like a little whip around? What? I don't even have to go inside the ship, please. Hello. Can I get a, a cinnamon twist? That's the one that's like long. Cinnamon yes. A cinnamon twist. Hey y'all, we just pulled up to Scooters. And I'm about to get my drink. It's six o'clock. Hello, can I get the ice white mocha with extra syrup, medium? Okay. That's it. You can scoot out to the window. The boys don't get out of karate till 6.40, so what are we gonna do? Should we go to Hobby Lobby? I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in a while. Y'all, I got I've been getting this drink like the past six times. The past six times. And it's been good every time. Like deliciously first sip, delicious good. That has never happened at Starbucks. That has never happened. Well, I only been to Dunkin' a couple times. Thank you. And the way that I found out about this drink. Thank you. You too. The way that I found out about this drink is her. Her. She be here every day. And I was like, what's a good drink? She's like, um, I really like the white mocha with extra syrup. And I was like, thank you. Thank you. And then for Valentine's Day, they had the uh, straw shaped like a heart. And it made it taste even better. Let's see why I'm talking about this stuff. This is what it looked like. This is the color. The color is perfection. There we go. Slime, I'm telling y'all, it's the perfect amount of strength, perfect amount of sweet, perfect amount of. <sighs> <sighs> these cars are coming. Hey, oh my God, these cars won't stop. Damn. I don't even have time to go to Hobby Lobby. It's 6 12. I might not go to Hobby Lobby because. What time I'm gonna get over there? 6 12. 6 12. Ooh, don't hunk at me. Hold on, y'all. Mmm. 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 I've been risking my life every, every day. It's like thundering, lightning, goodness. Ah, I think I'm just gonna stop at the boys' school and order pizza. We have a pizza tonight. I just, I'm not cooking. Order pizza for pickup and then pick it up on the way home and just read my little book while I wait for them to get out of practice. Cause it's lightning and stuff right now. Mm -mm, I'm not trying to get stuck in traffic. And that's one thing I hate. Cause I uh, like why they're practice i be trying to go places like go to the grocery store pick up a couple things go here go there real quick do, run a couple errands with that little 30 minutes that i have but whenever i be late i be like one minute late i be like oh no i can't be doing that and they be waiting for me so uh -uh, i can't be that parent that be one minute late two minutes late three minutes late because uh -uh. with the um with it's taekwondo i don't know why i call it karate but after the boys class it'd be like the older kids that come so it's like you gotta get your kids in and out damn what the f did y'all hear that to get on the shit. You ain't about to fucking play with me. It's hell, y'all. Y'all hear it? It's hell. It's my first time getting hell, though. 
What? Oh my God. Right? The other person just pulled up in, under the shed with me. This car too. It's literally hailing. It is hailing outside. Hold on. Oh,